Honor and glory is due to our almighty Savior, Jesus Christ, for the mighty and miraculous things that he's performed in our lives. Amen. The subject that I will be discussing on today is entitled, I Cried. I Cried. Church, sometimes we must cry loud and spare not to lift our voices as a trumpet unto what? Unto the almighty God as we let our requests be known unto the Lord. Well, the word itself cried have two definitions that I would like to share with you on today. The first definition of cried means to shed tears, typically as an expression of distress, pain, or sorrow. The second definition that I want to be dealing with on today is shout or scream typically to express fear, pain, or grief. Saying something loudly in an excited or anguished tone or voice. Well, I'm going to be discussing today Psalms 142, verses 1 through 7. And this is a prayer of David when he was in the cave. No doubt the cave of Amalon when he was hiding from King Saul. So the Psalms 142 begins so typical of David in a very mournful state, a melololo, sad, miserable state, depression. But it ends with a note of confidence. The righteous shall compass about me. Thou shall dwell abundantly with me. You see, we got to speak over our situation, saying to our situation, God got this. I may not have it, but God got this. Well, the book of Psalms 142 begin to say, I cried unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord did I pray. You see, David said, I poured out my complaints before God. Church, we got to learn how to make our requests known unto the Lord. I show God, we got to show God or, or tell God all about our troubles. Huh? And whatever situation that we are in, you got to learn how to tell Jesus all about it. Tell him about your concerns. Tell him about your problems. Tell him about your situations. Will you tell God? David said unto them, David said, it was when my spirit was overwhelmed within me. Then God knew my path. You see, God sits high and he looked low and he sees and knows everything about us and what we are facing. In the way we're in, I walk how they privately laid traps for me, David said. You see, we got to realize that all of our help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. I look upon my right hand, David said, and I beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuse fail me. No man careth for my soul, David says. In other words, David said, I have no one to turn to but the Lord. I cried unto the Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry. For I am brought very low, David said. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. See, we got to refuse to be trapped by the enemy. We got to refuse to allow the enemy to have victory over our lives. Second Chronicles 7, 14 says, If my people, which is called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face 
and turn from their wicked ways, then God said, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. You see, David went on to say, bring my soul out of prison. And he knew the Lord was the only one that could do it. That I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass about me. For thou shalt do, do deal bountiful with me. You see, we got to learn how to wait upon the Lord. And when we do so, I'm assuring you that God will direct your path. See, no longer will we ask God to give us strength to climb our mountains of trouble. But we will learn how to speak to the mountain in faith. And then after we speak to our mountain in faith, yeah, and we begin to cry loud to the Lord, yeah, then that mountain got to move. Can I get an amen? You see, when we cry out to the Lord, we got to believe that God will fight our battle. You see, I want you to understand that Jesus Christ has never lost the battle and he never will. God sees our situation. God knows what we're going through. God knows how to fix it. When there seem no way out, God can make a way out of no way. I cried. He heard my cry, David said, and the Lord delivered me. Let us pray. Lord, we are crying out to you today to hear our hearts cry. We understand, God, that we need your help in order to be victorious. God, we are speaking over our lives, over our situations, over our circumstances. And Lord, we are declaring that this too shall pass and we will walk out victoriously. Amen, amen, amen.